Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade eight, unit number five, lesson four, practice problems. Okay, first question here shows us a graph. The graph and the table show the high temperature in a city over a 10 day period. Do these match? Day 1, 60. Day 2, 61. Day 3, 63 degrees. Graph and table of the data. What was the high temperature on day 7? Day 7, 60. Day 7, 60. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. On which days was the high temperature 61 degrees? Well, that's here, here, here. So day two, four, and six. Is the high temperature a function of the day? So is high temperature a function of the day? Is high temperature a function of the day? Yes. Why? Because every input value, every day, has only one output value. If you put in a 2, you get out a 61. On day 3, there's only one possible high temperature. It was 63 degrees. That makes sense. On any day, there is only one possible high temperature. Every input has one output. Is the day a function of the high temperature? Is the day a function of the high temperature? Well, for that, the answer is no. Explain how you know? Well, that is saying for every input value, every high temperature, there is only one output value, which is day. Is day a function of high temperature? Well, if it's 61 degrees, do you know what day it is? No, because it could be day two, could be day four, could be day six. Every input does not have only one output value. Okay, what's next? The amount Lynn's sister earns at her part-time job is proportional to the number of hours she works. She earns 960 an hour. Write an equation, the form y equals kx, to describe the situation, where x represents the hours she works and y represents the dollars she, she earns. y equals, what's our unit rate, our k, our slope, 9.6. Is y a function of x? Yes, it is. How do I know? Every number of hours, every input value, there is only one possible output value. It's 9.6 times the input value. Write an equation describing x as a function of y. So x equals, hmm, y over 9.6. Y divided by 9.6. Because if I look at this, if I wanted to get the X all by itself, if I want to isolate the X, I have to divide each side of this equation by 9.6. It would cancel out on this side. We're left with just X. On this side, we'd have Y divided by 9.6. Okay, number three. Use the equation 2m plus 4s equals 16 to complete the table. Then graph the line using s as the dependent variable. So that means I'll even label this nicely. If s is dependent, m is independent, label which one is which. Now, 2m plus 4s equals 16. 2 times 0 is 0. 4 times what is 16? That would be 4. 
Now, if s is 3, 4 times 3 is 12. 16 subtract 12 is 4. 2 times 2 is 12. Plug in negative 2 for m. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4. I would have to add 4 to each side. And then 4s equals 20. 4 times what is 20? 5. Now if s is 0, that goes away. 2 times m equals 16. That is 8. Okay, plot these on the graph. If m is 0, s is 4. If m is 2, s is 3. If m is negative 2, s is 5. Ooh, this is starting to look pretty linear. If m is 8, s is 0. So if we want to plot this graph, connect all the points that we've got. There. Solve this system of equations. Okay, we want to find out where the two equations are equal to each other. We want to find out where they're in the same place, so we can just set them equal to each other. Substitute if y equals this stuff, we can plug this stuff into that y. 7x plus 10 equals negative 4x subtract 23 add 4x to each side because we want to get all the x's on the same side 7x plus 4x is 11x plus 10 equals negative 23 subtract 10 subtract 10 those will cancel. 11x equals negative 33. Divide by 11. Divide by 11. x equals negative 3. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done yet? No, we're not. We're not done. We know what x is. Now we have to figure out what y is. How do we do that? We substitute it back in. Plug it back in y equals 7x, but x we know is negative 3, plus 10. y equals 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21, plus 10. y equals negative 21 plus 10 is negative 11. Now, let's check it with the other one y equals negative 4 times x which is negative 3 subtract 23 y equals negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12 minus 23 12 subtract 23 is negative 11 they match the solution to a system of equations, remember, is a point. X value of negative 3, Y value of negative 11. Okay, this has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.